What's up guys, how's it going? I'm back with a very highly keto requested recipe. It is granola. I make it with a variety of different nuts, about four different nuts. I'll show you right here while we're talking about nuts. You want to make sure your nuts are fresh. Uh, that's an issue. In case you don't know, uh, nuts have oils in them and oils spoil. So if you get them and you're not gonna use them quickly, you wanna put them in the freezer so they stay fresh longer. Uh, this was instilled to me very early in life by my grandmother who was a baker. She loved to bake stuff for my granddad. She was very verbal about her distaste for expired nuts. And one of my funniest memories of my grandmother is going down the road. I'll set this up for you guys. I'm in the back seat of the car. My mom and my grandmother are in the front. No idea where my granddad was at the time. And we're going down the road. I'm about 16 years old. And I'm like, oh look, there's Brewster's ice cream. My grandmother's like, wow, I love butter pecan. So do I. And then my grandmother goes, oh, but there's, there's nothing I hate worse than some old nuts. <gasps> and I'm within milliseconds of yelling, oh my God, that's why you're so mean to granddad. And then my mom flips her hair around and looks at me. And she's like, looking at me. Don't you do it, Leah. Don't you do it. Her mouth was saying nothing, but her eyes were saying everything. <laughs> I knew if I said anything out of my mouth, I was dead. If looks could kill, I would have been a dead man. So <laughs> I just sat there. <sighs> Me too, grandmother. Me too. <laughs> and that's one of my funniest memories of her and her distaste for old nuts. <laughs> so on to my keto granola recipe. Okay, in the bowl, we have a variety of different nuts. I have chopped pecans, chopped walnuts, sliced almonds, chopped macadamia nuts, and these are pepita seeds. I think they are Mexican pumpkin seeds. Everybody in the pool. To that, so quarter cup of everything right there. Two tablespoons black chia seeds, two tablespoons of golden flax seed, two tablespoons of unsweetened coconut flakes, plus two tablespoons of the pure alternate sweetener. Once you get all that added in, you add, this is four tablespoons, so also a quarter cup. Uh, the sugar-free maple syrup. If you are paleo, you can use real maple syrup. And you know who has the best deal on maple syrup? Yep, you know I was gonna say it. Glasgow. So, then keto, gonna do sugar-free. I add that in. You want to preheat your oven for 325 degrees. So once that's in, totally optional, but because I've been on keto in a while, I like to add salt. I like it sweet and salty. A little bit. Goes a long way. You mix this all up. I forgot you do want to add a tablespoon of vanilla. That goes in. And totally optional, a half teaspoon of maple extract. That gives you the granola taste you're looking for. Okay, so once everything is mixed up completely, you want to take, I take a 13 by nine pan with a silicone mat on it, spread it all out. Okay, all that goes in. If you really like this recipe, meal prep, you can double it. Might end up having to do two batches. You want to spread it thin, uh, but you also want to leave chunks because I know a lot of people like the chunky granola. You end up breaking this up into pieces anyway. So, there we go. And to 325 degree oven. All right, finished product. Keto granola. Hope you guys can see it. Very crunchy, really good with 
too good yogurt. It's the lowest carb yogurt I could find. It's only three for this whole container. So if you do one container of the too good and a quarter cup of my granola, it's only five grams of carbs total for your breakfast. So here we go, keto granola. I hope you guys like the recipe. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching.